hello everyone welcome to our channel in this video i am going to show you how to uh, install jenkins and configure it my name is shankar i am uh, from Galaxy technologies i am a aws and a devops uh, trainer over here let's jump in now for this uh, uh, procedure we are going to launch a red hat linux cc to install once it is launched, we are installing Java. I'm installing latest version of uh, uh, Jenkins. That's why we need Java 1.8. Once you have installed, you can set the path, export the uh, Java home path and set the path. This is temporary. If you want to make it as a permanent, in user home directory, bash underscore profile, uh, there is a dot bash underscore profile file uh, available. In that, you need to update. Next, to download Jenkins. Uh, onto ec2 instance this is the uh, link you can refer uh, if you want to download and this is the commands you should execute once it is downloaded you can install uh, jenkins and uh, uh, jenkins uh, installation completed you you need to start jenkins service as a checkpoint you can just check java version and uh, whenever it comes to the configuration, you need to open port 8080 in the security group of EC2 instance because this is the default port number. Once it is opened, you can able to access Jenkins up, uh, uh, from GUI by using public IP colon port number. Uh, then uh, you should provide username admin and uh, password location is available in this location. Uh, you can take this password and you can log in. And you also install plugins if you need for the time of uh, uh, opening your uh, Jenkins uh, Jenkins in the browser. But uh, I uh, preferably skip uh, to install plugins. We can install plugins whenever we need. Change the admin password. We can change the admin password. Once the admin password has been changed, you can uh, configure Jenkins path under the Jenkins configuration. You need to, sorry Java. You need to set the Java path in the Jenkins configuration. This is what we need to do. Let's go back and do it. Uh, in this case, I have already launched a Red Hat EC2 instance. I will just log in and will proceed from the step two. This is my EC2 instance. I named it as a Jenkins server. Uh, I have public IP. I am going to. Open it mobile extra. I'm loading my key and username I'm specifying as EC2 minus user. You can use putty also, it's up to you. I have logged into my system and uh, I am I will just follow the steps what is there in this PPT. If you need this PPT, you can. Uh, write your email in the comment session so that I can able to share with you. It is downloading. Yes, I want to install. Okay, now Java installation is completed. Java minus version. This is the command to check out your Java version 1.8, but you need to set the Java home path. For that, you can put it as a temporary and permanent. I'm making it as a permanent. So to make it as a permanent, you need to go with, this is the one. And uh, here you need to set your Java home path. So I have already taken the Java home path. It will be available in this location. So you can directly keep your Java home path. Oops. I'm providing Java home path. This is Java home path and you need to set it in the export of your path variable. Okay. So ours is dollar Java underscore home. That's it. I made it. I made these changes as permanent. And if you see here, echo dollar path, it will show the old path. Once I logged in with the new session, it could able to pick up the new. Uh, updated paths 
now we go dollar path you can see now java home path is has been exported right next step is we need to download jenkins for this i'm using this command for that uh, wget al also has to get uh, installed in your system currently wget is not installed let me quickly install wget then we'll execute this command let me copy this command Then install wget minus y. Now you can. Sorry, it hasn't copied properly. Let's go and do it again. Okay, now packages has been downloaded. Next, you need to import RPM. Next, yum install Jenkins. Without executing these commands, if you try to install, it won't work. You install Jenkins minus Y. Now Jenkins installation has been completed and uh, okay, you need to start Jenkins service. Let's go and start it. Service, Jenkins, status, currently it is in dead state. Service, Jenkins, start. That's it, our Jenkins server is running. Let's access it from the browser. Yeah, before accessing, we need to open the port number 8080 in the security group because this is the Jenkins security group. If we go and check 8080 not open, let's enable it. Custom port 8080 and from internet I need and save it. Now, We'll try to access it from the browser, the public IP of instance. This is the public IP of our instance, colon 8080. I'm going to configuration power. I'm doing configuration, Jenkins configuration. Now you can see here, it is unlocked Jenkins. This is the file where the password is located. That is what I have specified in the PPT in the second slide. Okay, we are able to access it and the user its admin password will be located in this location. So let's go and open this file. This is the password. I'm opening login to Jenkins. Now it is asking me to install size plugins, but uh, I'm not installing any plugins. Let's cancel it and start Jenkins. That's it. My, I have logged into Jenkins. Next thing is you need to set the uh, change the admin password because if you see our admin password, this is the admin password. But I am going to use uh, our custom password. Set one complex password. So administration. Here you need to go to administration admin and configure there is an option to change the password I'm changing my password right apply and save that's it I have changed my password next thing is we need to set the Java path for login to Jenkins and uh, Go to manage Jenkins. We are going to do all our configurations under manage Jenkins. This is like a settings. Under manage Jenkins, you can you should go to global tool configuration. Here you can find JDK, JDK installation, add JDK. I'm going to add Java. You can choose the install automatically or you can set the Java home path. We have already Java home path. 
if you want to see in system also find slash minus name java c if you give it is going to give uh, paths of uh, different different locations this is the one usr lib jvm under this you can see here you need to put the bin path right so this is the java home path which we have specified in our home path as well as in jenkins and if you give some wrong one it is going to like a bin if i give it is immediately tells you that it is not a correct path right if you give correct path nothing but where is bin is located that is what you need to give now it is correct so it is not giving any error apply save that's it i have set up the java path that is how you need to do the configuration and the next step we are going to run a test job okay for that create a new item and you need to provide a new item name and we are going to choose the freestyle project then i will execute a shell command because it is a linux system if it is a windows you need to run a bash command so echo hello world i will give and save and build job if we build it should get successful uh, complete successfully let's go so to create a new job you need to go to new item here you need to provide okay hello world yes this is the one next one is it is a freestyle freestyle is the uh, it will support for any kind of project uh, by default you get freestyle if you install maven you will get maven also we'll see that in next video and uh, description this is a test job and uh, we are not using any source code management currently it is none because we haven't installed git and git plugins next build this is the one we are going to do and build trigger is also not touching execute shell command i'm going to give echo hello everyone welcome to relaxy technologies apply save now our job has been uh, scheduled this is the one and currently you haven't run so no it, it there is no builds if you want to build it you can go and build it here or else you can go to inside to your project and build now once you build it will be running over here you can find yeah it came to green color sorry blue color blue color nothing but success you can see here below success if it is red color it is failed that is how you can understand you can see here this is hello everyone welcome to galaxy technologies and it is it has finished successfully right so thanks for watching this video in uh, you can find the next video how to install and configure maven run your test job using maven and uh, installing jenkins slave that is what we are going to see in next uh, series of videos thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in next video